The principle of flight is a phenomenon common to a wide variety of living creatures. Butterflies, birds, fishes, and mammals propel themselves through air and water as a mode of transportation. Great distances can be covered by these animals by utilizing existing fluid currents to gain altitude or speed. This enables them to conserve valuable body energies, an important factor in their survival. Flying animals have inspired people to fly. This desire has been achieved through various flying instruments and designs. Simply constructed kites and larger, more complex hand gliders both use aerodynamic principles to fly, reacting as do a bird's wings to soar to great heights with complete control. By enlarging a wing, the air can be utilized to travel to high altitudes with little difficulty. Understanding the principles of flight and flying machines is essential in producing long, enjoyable rides as this. Large jets and planes are able to fly by combining a power source with the wing principle. By doing this on a large scale, planes can increase their weight capacities. A wing is designed so that fluid-like air passing over the top surface has a higher velocity than air passing across the bottom. This creates more pressure on the bottom than the top, resulting in an upward force. This special relationship between fluid speed and pressure is called Bernoulli's principle. It states that pressure in a fluid decreases with increased velocity of the fluid. Lift is greater when there is large wing area and the plane is traveling through the fluid air faster. A helicopter blade is a special spinning wing that rotates in order to create lift. At high revolutions, a new stabilizing force is present called gyroscopic force. If the engine of the helicopter is turned off, the spinning blades begin to slow down. As they do, the blades lose momentum, gyroscopic qualities, and lift potential. Friction finally stops rotation. A flying disc, such as a frisbee, is a small circular wing which is rotated via a snap of the wrist. When properly inserted into the air, the lift and gyroscopic stability of the disc enable it to fly. A large disc, as a giant saucer tosser, produces a great amount of power or momentum at a low speed due to its large mass. By pediddling or prolonging the rotation of a disc with your finger, it will continue to spin as long as desired, regardless of its position or size. This mini frisbee must rotate at a much higher speed to produce an equivalent momentum as a larger disc. Frisbees of varying sizes and weights react differently in the air and thus are used for different purposes. The Pro model is used to achieve high speeds for use in Guts Frisbee. The Super Pro is popular for freestyle play. The World Class 141 gram and 119 gram are used in freestyle and power events. The Light 97 gram and Fastback model on the left are effective in throwing boomerang or return flights. The large 165 gram is exceptionally stable in windy conditions. Frisbee throwing has been an American pastime for the last 20 years and is comparable to Olympic events such as discus throwing, where the wind-up and delivery match that of an overhand wrist flip. The body rhythm and power of a javelin throw coincide with that of a powerful guts thumber throw. The momentum and release of a hammer throw are used when throwing a barrel roll hook thumb or hammer sidearm throw. Team sports such as basketball require players to pivot, pass, and guard opponents. The discipline strategies and teamwork of outdoor field games, as football and rugby, utilizes passing, running, and other teamwork techniques to move downfield. Soccer and lacrosse require similar teamwork but use different balls and equipment for play. A frisbee team game called Ultimate encompasses the field aspects of these games along with the flight characteristics unique to the flying disc. Ultimate is played by two seven-person teams who pass the disc from player to player. Goals are scored by catching the disc in the opposing team's end zone. As of 1977, 65 colleges and universities in the United States played Ultimate as a varsity sport, competing intercollegiately for national titles. Arts, such as ballet, modern dance, and gymnastics require precise body control and footwork, plus well-conditioned muscles to execute difficult maneuvers. John Kirkland comments on these same aspects of freestyle frisbee. The art of freestyle in the last couple of years has grown more than any other aspect in frisbee. And I think that it 
more than any other aspect of Frisbee, exemplifies the joy and the beauty of the experience of playing Frisbee. More than anything else in, in Frisbee freestyle, there's that flow and the cooperation and the dance, acrobatic, uh, martial arts, all that kind of flow and communication that is the reason that Frisbee has, be has become infectious for so many people. Ken Westerfield demonstrates precision body control in this combination front and back body roll, the Canadian mind blower, while Dave Marini demonstrates fine disc control in a series of underleg carries and a catch. Another aspect of Frisbee gaining popularity in the 1970s is disc golf. This game is analogous to ball golf, but uses a frisbee or other flying disc on a shortened, more restricted course. Ball golf uses different clubs and techniques for teeing off, approach, and chip shots from various areas of the fairway. Likewise, Efficient play in frisbee golf requires knowledge of different throws, trajectories, and disc selection, plus calculation of the air currents and terrain characteristics. Putting in ball golf is to a hole. Putting in disc golf is to a pole or basket mounted on a pole or on the ground, and follows the same gentleman's rules as ball golf regarding game etiquette and scoring of strokes or throws. MTA, or maximum time aloft, is a challenging disc activity in which players throw boomerang flights in the air and catch the disc cleanly in one hand. Time is measured from the instant of release to the catch. TRC, throw, run, and catch, is similar, except distance is measured in feet from point of throw to point of catch. The idea of throwing, running, or moving and catching can be performed with a partner riding a bicycle. Successful throw, pedal, and catches are easily performed with practice, offering opportunities for a variety of catches, return throws, and pickups from the bike. Throwing, skating, and catching is another application of the TRC principle, using a different mode of moving to a successful catch and control of the disc's flight. Throwing skiing and catching is a demanding yet satisfying and relaxing maneuver to attempt. A flat throw that lightly travels far enough downhill for the skier to reach is necessary. This successful throw, ski, and catch combination at Snow King Ski Area in Jackson, Wyoming, traveled some 180 yards in the air. Throw, ski, and catch can be done with a twist added. Or you can play TRC with your dog, referred to as dog or canine frisbee. Dog competition began in over 500 cities in the U.S. in 1977. In this scene, Martha, former world record holder, successfully catches a 252-foot throw from her partner, John Pickerel. The increase in popularity of canine competition guarantees that more tournaments will be scheduled to determine the nation's Frisbee dog champ. Discs can also be used to stay dry at tournaments or to cushion your head after a hard day of throwing. An unlimited number of creative freestyle maneuvers exist in frisbee play, limited only by a player's physical abilities and imagination. Each player has his or her own style of play, dictated by their knowledge of various disc models, their physical condition, and the number of hours spent in practice, throwing, catching, and creating new maneuvers. As in any sport, certain basic fundamentals must be learned before attempting trick throws or catches. One of the fundamental throws is the backhand. Like all successful throws, the backhand begins with a comfortable grip. 
This grip uses two, three, or four fingers on the inside rim or cheek and the forefinger on the outside rim. The thumb is on the flight rings or top shoulder of the disc. Body rotation, starting with the arm and shoulders, adds power to the throw with the hips and legs following through after release. For more distance with the backhand, add a run up, a high back swing, a long pendulum swing forward, then a quick release and follow through. The backhand is often used for controlled accuracy throwing with variations as the blind backhand, the under the leg, and behind the back backhands popular for freestyle play. A backhand can also be thrown upside down with the thumb on the inside cheek and fingers on the outside shoulder of the disc, resulting in a slicing turnover curve. The sidearm throw, unlike the backhand, is thrown from an open stance. The grip uses two fingers on the cheek and the thumb on the shoulder to create a large degree of snap in the release. The sidearm is useful for powerful golf tee shots, for fast, hard-to-catch gut shots, and soaring distance throws. With a number of deliveries, variations as the blind, under the leg, and between the leg sidearms are popular in freestyle. The overhand or overhand wrist flip uses smooth arm and shoulder movement for direction and power. To throw an overhand, place the thumb along the cheek and grip the top flight rings with your fingers. Extending your arm backwards and smoothly forward with a level snap of the wrist completes the throw. The overhand is popular in freestyle, thrown straight forward from a catch or from a blind crossbody position. Some specialty throws include finger catapults, throwing from a handstand position, or with your toes. On the other end of a throw is a catch, done thumb up or thumb down. Standard catches include the behind the back, the over the shoulder, trap catches, twisting catches, blind catches, and in the air trailing edge catches. With the right technique, many flights can be caught using just the light touch control of the fingers. Stopping the flight of the Frisbee is not the only way to catch it, however. Disc work is the manipulation of the disc's flight inertia or power and includes techniques such as tipping. This involves lightly tipping the disc close to the center while it maintains spin. Tipping can be done with the forearms, both hands, the elbow, or the knee, behind the back, and with the heel, or with other parts of the body, such as the nose. the forehead, and the foot. Another disc work technique involves catching and controlling the spinning disc on a portion of your fingernail. Nail delaying can be done with the Frisbee right side up, or upside down. Bouncing the disc off a cushion of air sets it at a convenient angle for nail delaying. Like tips, delays set the disc up for such maneuvers as under the leg carries. Multiple foot tips. And transferring the disc to partners for other tricks such as airbrushing. Airbrushing consists of gently redirecting and powering the disc in the air to prolong its flight. Airbrushing is popular in freestyle routines and when combined with wrist rolls, can 
some tribute to beautiful twirling freestyle maneuvers. Other disc work moves include scoops, freezes and setups, and arm and body rolls. The International Frisbee Association, with over 75,000 members in the United States, Canada, Europe, the Orient, and Africa, is headed by Dan the Stork Roddick. National affiliate clubs as the Boulder Chinooks, the Los Angeles Frisbee Club, and the Venice, California Pacific Floaters help to promote Frisbee play, along with specially organized teams and motivated individuals. The World Championship Frisbee Invitational Tournament, organized by the IFA each year, draws top Frisbee competitors who qualify by competing for points in regional tournaments held across the U.S. and other countries. Spectators of all ages gather at these tournaments to watch players, such as John Kirkland and Ken Westerfield, Joe Cahow, Victor Malafranti, Monica Liu, Cindy Birch and Tom Shepard, Patty Hipsky and Jose Montalvo compete in individual events such as maximum time aloft and throw, run, and catch. The current 1977 world record for TRC is 247 and a half feet, held by Joseph Youngman of Jackson, Michigan. The current MTA record is 15 seconds, shared by Ken Westerfield of Toronto, Ontario, and Cliff Town of Santa Barbara, California. Unsuccessful TRC and MTA attempts are usually a product of too much distance and not enough curve in the throw. In this throw run and catch sequence, John Wyand displays the type of composure and hustle common to competitive TRC and MTA players. The distance event requires strength, rhythm, and knowledge of environmental factors, such as wind, which might influence the Frisbee's flight. Distance, like all IFA events, is thrown by men, women, and senior competitors. The current world record for distance is held by Dave Johnson of Ocean Bluff, Massachusetts, with a backhand throw of 412 feet. This example of a power sidearm throw by Ken Westerfield, however, is evidence that one day the sidearm may dominate the distance event. In accuracy competition, players throw four deliveries from seven positions located at 20 degrees to the left and right and straight away of a six-foot hoop. The current world record for accuracy is 21 successful throws out of 28 attempts held by Tom Kennedy of Santa Barbara, California. Another competitive event is Frisbee golf. Here, Joe Cahow plays at the world's first Frisbee golf course in Oak Grove, California. The combination of rough terrain, overhanging trees, and uphill holes make playing the Oak Grove course demanding. The 1977 course record is held by Gary Gillaham of La Cañada, California, shooting a 12 under par 42. In freestyle competition, players demonstrate their creative throws, catches, and disc work with a partner. Freestyle is judged like gymnastics, with each pair being scored on their variety, difficulty and execution of various maneuvers on a 1 to 10 scale. Cooperative moves, or co-oping, is a freestyle technique gaining popularity among Frisbee players. Patty Hipsky explains the idea of co-oping. The thing that works effectively in freestyle is co-oping between your partner and yourself, where you either tip or nail delay the frisbee down the field to your partner so that he in turn can do more with it rather, rather than you just catching it by yourself. Very crowd-pleasing and also very effective in your routine. 
Cooperative moves increase the degree of difficulty of basic disc work maneuvers and are apt to raise a freestyle pair's scores. In this sequence, John Kirkland and Ken Westerfield execute difficult behind-the-back finger twirls, impressing judge and spectators alike. A challenging team game is Guts Frisbee. Two teams of five players each face each other across a 14-meter neutral zone. The Frisbee is thrown at speeds approaching 100 miles per hour across this zone, with points being scored for wild throws or missed catches. All throws must be caught cleanly with one hand. The official Guts Frisbee is the pro model. Gloves are a regular part of the Guts player's equipment also. Each year, Guts tournaments are held in Houghton and Marquette, Michigan to determine the United States and world champion Guts team. Ultimate Frisbee reigns as the most popular team sport in Frisbee play. Approaching soccer and player endurance, Ultimate requires fast thinking, quick footwork, and precision catches and throws to successfully score against the opposing team. Good teamwork is essential to move the disc downfield, as shown here by the Western U.S. Ultimate All-Stars. popularity of Ultimate and Guts, as well as the potential of the individual Frisbee events, is evidence that one day Frisbee will become an international sport included in the Olympic Games. As we have seen, Frisbee is a sport that has similarities to other organized sports and disciplines as gymnastics, and martial arts, ballet, and modern dance. Frisbee golf follows the same basic rules and procedures as ball golf. Power events as distance, MTA, and TRC require individual strength, rhythm, and endurance. Cooperative games can be created by using the Frisbee with a partner on a bicycle on a skateboard, or on snow skis. Fundamental throws and catches can be experimented with to create new and innovative maneuvers. Disc work extends the limits of throwing and catching. All require considerable skill and practice to understand and master. The physics of rotation, the intricate momentums and gyroscopic motion present in the flying disc can be seen around us every day in machines of flight constructed by mankind and in the flying creatures of nature itself.
Frisbee is a registered trademark of the Whammo Manufacturing Company for flying saucers used in sports games.